Love Talk Radio. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Camille from sunny California, and you're listening to the Coffee Chat with Camille show, which is a podcast series that interviews various guests about real life topics for people who love to learn. Hi everybody, we have a great show. Happy Friday, by the way. Digital Marketing Tips and Tricks with Seth Goldstein. Seth Goldstein is an entrepreneur, founder, podcaster, techie, father and husband, and social media junkie. He has been podcasting since 2010 and owned his own digital marketing agency, Goldstein Media, for more than 15 years. When Seth isn't online or working, excuse me, when Seth isn't online or working or both, he loves to spend time with his wife, son, and their air, air poodle or air, air doodle pup. For you, the audience, from the guests, you can check out um, Seth's website at goldsteinmedia.com. There uh, it says check out my agency at goldsteinmedia.com and the podcast at entrepreneursenigma.com. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get into our interview. Let me uh, let Seth into the studio. One moment, Seth. I'm coming. (laughs) There we go. Okay. Because sometimes I have to, um, I'm over here adjusting. All right. There we are. Hi, Sam. Hey, Hi, How happy are you? Friday. <laughs> yeah, happy Wonderful. Friday. Sorry for all the confusion. I'm glad we got, oh, to, okay. I'm glad we got to chat. Yes, yes. I'm very happy that you are here yeah. and we have connected so we can get on with this wonderful interview. Okay, your yeah. first question <laughs> is what's it been like being an entrepreneur? Oh, it's been a trip to say the least. Um, there's ups, downs, there's lefts, there's rights. There's all kinds of different things that happens when you're an entrepreneur. Every day is different. Um, every day has a set of challenges, has a set of you know highs and lows, and that's kind of what I talk about on the podcast as well. But it's fun being an entrepreneur because you set your own schedule. You know, be it, albeit that your schedule might be 40 hours a day, if there's 40 hours in the day, mm-hmm. there, you know, but, you know, you're working constantly, but you're also answering to yourself, which is nice. So I enjoy it. You know, I, I'm very ADD, so it kind of helps me with my, how I schedule my days, how I need to make it work for my brain. So it works well, it works out nicely. Wonderful, wonderful. What have you seen change in the digital landscape since you started in digital marketing? Oh, that is a big question. That is a loaded question. So, <laughs> so much has changed since 20, 20, 2008. I mean, WordPress has kind of grown to be, I think, 40, it's like 49% of the web is run on WordPress, which is a content management system. SEO has gone from where you could just put links everywhere and get found on Google to now Google is like using AI and and everything. Okay. everything's in flux now with SEO. I'm digital marketing, you know, LinkedIn is now really a big part of the business ecosystem. There's threads competing with Twitter or whatever the heck you want to call it today, X. You know, so there's, <laughs> yeah. it's ever changing, which is kind of interesting. So, yeah. Absolutely. And then what are some exciting stories from your time as a journalist? Oh, the stories I can tell, the stories I can tell. <laughs> oh, there's, there's other ones that are not gory. Um, I did chase after a combine. This one is like harvesters in a cornfield in a suit to get a story once. That was interesting. I once covered a bomb scare in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, at the battlefield. It was the suitcase that was left by a statue of Abe Lincoln. It turned out to be a, a um, suitcase full of stiletto heels. That was kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. So I, I've come mm-hmm. to, I could go on for hours with my stories. So. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Thank you. And how has your time as a journalist helped you in digital marketing? 
Oh, it, it helps so much because it helps me ask the right questions, get the right answers that I need from people. A lot of people will be like, um, I'm not sure where I want to go with things. And so I'll ask the right questions and get, get, get it to a point where I can actually build them the website, get them found online and all that. So it's very helpful. It, it's turned out to be very helpful. I didn't know it was going to be helpful, but it, it is. Yes, and then what the heck is going on with Google being an AI? Oh my God! Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I can guess. I don't really. I mean, I don't know exactly what's going on with them. I don't think they know what's going on really. But, uh, but, but, I mean, Google and ChatGPT and OpenAI and Bing—they're all this kind of an arms race with you know who can provide the best value to the end consumer. So they're trying to figure out a way to answer questions without you having to actually leave Google. Which, you know, back in the day, back in the, the early aughts or the, the early teens of the, 20, of the 21st century, the goal of Google was to get you off Google, was to get you the result and get you off to the web, off of their site onto the site that would give you the answer. So it's, it's ever changing. So I think the whole landscape's going to change in the next six to 12 months. Okay, thank you again. SEO and digital marketing. What's changing and what can business owners do to stay on top of of it all? That business owners really need to take a time to evaluate what's important to them when it comes to SEO and digital marketing. Do they want to spend their time doing it themselves? Do they want to hire someone like myself to help them guide them through? The, you know, the thicket of um, knowledge. I mean, they, can read, they, they really need to read blog posts and do research and all that. If they don't have time to do that, they need to hire someone to help them. Okay. And then why WordPress? Oh, I just love WordPress. It's open source, which means that it's, it's community-driven. And people of all, all creeds, nationalities, orientations can come together and help build this great content man- management system that literally started out as a blogging platform and now has evolved into a full-service m- content management system. The, c- the community is welcoming, and they're, they have big conferences that are great that you can go to and learn how basic design skills and all that. It's just a fantastic community, and I haven't found another community quite like it. Okay. And – Social media, why do you need to be distributed across rented media? Oh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. You need to be across multiple platforms. I mean, you can pick two. But one, I'd say pick three. One needs to be your own site where you keep your content and you own your content. And then you need to think about, all right, where are my customers? Where are the people that I want to connect with? Are they on Threads? Are they on LinkedIn? Are they on X? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? And go where the people, where your people are, essentially. Don't just talk into the ether. Okay, and then where do you see social media going in the next few months and or years? Oh, a few months. Oh, thank God you asked for a few months. If you say a few years, I have to say I have no idea because <laughs> it's changing so fast. In the next few months... I see threads interoperating with the overall what we call the Fediverse, which is an alternative to the closed ecosystems, like where there's like one server, like X is on one server. Everyone goes to that mm-hmm. server. Someone like Elon buys Twitter and can ruin the whole ecosystem. The Fediverse mm-hmm. means that you can be on one server but talk to a different server. And and it's distributed, meaning that no one no one person can buy the network. And I think that with Meta, Facebook, whatever you want to call it, Instagram, and their Threads product, they're saying that they want to integrate with what we call the Fediverse and make it distributed. I think that's the future. Is that we're going to go back to something what we used to see in the 1990s of you know email essentially. Like like when you think about email. People were on Gmail. People were on Hotmail. People were on Outlook. It doesn't matter what server you're on. You can all talk to each other. And okay. that's essentially what I think it's going to become again for social media. Okay, okay. And then for the last question, how has entrepreneurship changed your outlook on life? 
Oh, my gosh. I mean, I did corporate for a little while. I did journalism for six years. Entrepreneurship, the outlook on life is that it gives me the freedom. If I want to go on vacation, I have to plan accordingly because it's my business and stuff. But I can do that if I want to. I can do that if I plan accordingly with the business. I don't have to ask a boss. Say, hey, boss, can I take this week off to go to wherever? So my my outlook is it's giving me a lot more open outlook to life. And I can honestly, I can go on vacation and still work some, which is nice. God bless laptops, right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, indeed. And uh, Seth, what is your favorite coffee and or hot beverage? Oh, that's a very good question. I love a good latte. (laughs) Good um, a good yeah. I said good almond milk latte because milk kind of messes with my stomach. I know TMI, but yeah, almond milk yummy, latte yummy. With, with with two Splendas. <laughs> Wonderful, yummy yum. To be okay, cheers. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for that. And then, um, oh, can you please uh, let our audience know what your social media handles are? Oh, absolutely. Best thing to do is go over to goldsteinmedia.com, check it out my, my corporate website there, my corporate, my, my, my company website there. You can go to entrepreneursenigma.com, that's the podcast. Or I'm most active on LinkedIn, so just go to linkedin.com slash n slash Seth M as in Michael Goldstein. So Seth M. Goldstein on LinkedIn. I'm very prolific on this. You can find me there and then you can pretty much find me everywhere. Just look for Seth Goldstein and I'm the guy smiling. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's been such a pleasure. I'm so thrilled that you came on my show. Yeah. And I want oh, to for me. wish Yeah, it's been such it's been wonderful. I'm so happy. Um and thank you so much again, Seth, and bye for now. Bye for now. Bye everybody. <laughs> okay, everyone. That was so wonderful, Seth Goldstein. And um, we almost missed each other, but I am so, so happy that he was here and brought his um, expertise and his wonderful spirit into the studio this morning. And I hope that he brought you as much joy and course information that you can utilize as well. Again, you can go to goldsteinmedia.com. All right. Happy Friday, everyone. I have, uh, I think, two more shows to go. So I'll be back on. Uh, at the in the next hour, and then I think I have one more after that. Okay, bye everyone. Thank you, Seth. Bye.